Today we're going to create an exhaust system for our vehicles so that when a vehicle is moving at a constant speed, a constant amount of particles are coming out, and when it's accelerating or decelerating, a greater number of particles come out. Okay, I'm in Unity 2019.3. I'm using Cinti Studio's um, farming pack and I'm using some of Unity's uh, standard assets. So I'm using their um, environment and their particle system. If you don't have the particle system, go to Window, Asset Store, and then uh, download and import the Unity standard assets. Really all you need are the particle systems for this, but if, uh, if you don't have any vehicles in your scene, then you should also use their vehicles because theirs are, are pretty good. Let's create an empty object and put it right here in front of us. We'll make sure that it's uh, on the ground and just in front of our camera. We're going to place a particle system here. We're going to put in some smoke because that'll look good for a, an exhaust system. So I'm going to use Unity's uh, smoke prefab that's in the particle systems prefabs folder in the standard assets uh, folder. So you'll pull it into the scene and you'll see that it comes in and, and you can see it animating or, or simulating in, in scene view. Real quick, quickly, what we're going to do is change the start size and we're going to go from one, excuse me, we're going to go from two to point one and then maximum size is one. So that'll look pretty decent for um, for exhaust as far as size goes. Now what we want to do is also change the lifetime. So we'll put that around, let's say six is pretty good. Start lifetime six. So that's how quickly it's going to come out of the uh, exhaust pipe. Uh, we're also going to change the duration to one and we can put our admission at 100 particles So that'll be pretty thick All right, and now we're going to um, Child that to our, our empty object and we'll change our object. We'll actually reset its transform So it's right on the object and then we'll rename the object to uh, Let's say FX exhaust Smoke Okay, Okay. now that we've got our particles set up, we're going to put a vehicle into the scene. And like I said, I'm, I'm using Cinti Studio's uh, Polygon Farm Pack, and that comes with a, a, quite a few vehicles. I'm just going to put a uh, tractor in here. All right, so a pretty standard tractor. And now we're going to make sure that the exhaust comes from the exhaust pipe on this tractor. So I'm going to move that parent object onto the exhaust pipe. I'm going to put myself in orthographic view in the scene view here. Uh, try and move it pretty close to where that exhaust pipe is going out. And that looks about right. Okay. So now we should see if we press play and go over here to our tractor. Yeah, that's coming right out of the exhaust pipe. So that looks pretty good. Now, before we move on, let's parent the uh, exhaust, the particle system to the, uh, to the tractor uh, so that when it moves, the particle system goes with it. So now that we've got our tractor, we're gonna go ahead and add some scripts to it. We need a mover. Um, so if you've got something in your scene that in your in your project that moves your vehicles around, uh, even if it's super basic, that'll do okay that'll work i've got a basic mover script um, i need waypoints and it'll move the whatever the object is uh, between the waypoints using unity's nav um, nav mesh all right so this already has a nav mesh agent on it i'm going to make sure that my values here are good um, and i am going to add my waypoints to the uh, waypoints on here. So let's open that script up so you guys can see what's what's happening to make this guy move. Here's our basic move script. We've, we're using Unity's built-in uh, nav mesh agent and this will move our vehicle throughout the world, our game world. Um, 
I should have mentioned that I've set up and baked a, a nav mesh uh, map in, in, in my scene. Okay, so we have a, an array of waypoints through which this, uh, this agent will cycle. Um, the nav mesh agent has its own acceleration um, values and, and, and methods. So it'll look pretty good once we get into the world. Again, the Unity standard assets has its own vehicles uh, scripts, which also look really good, a lot better to me. They look better to me than, than does the nav mesh agent on vehicles, okay? And this gives us exactly what we need for this exhaust system. We need something that gives us velocity and acceleration. But make sure that you have your objects baked into the scene. So I've got a drivable area here, a non-walkable and walkable. Now we need to create a script for our exhaust system. So we'll just create a C-sharp script called exhaust system. And we'll go ahead and open that up. Okay, so here's our exhaust system. We need a reference to a particle system. We will go ahead and reference that from the, um, from the inspector. So we'll make that a serializable field and we'll just drop it in from the inspector. We also need a particle system dot main module and we're going to have to cache that. Uh, I create some memory for that by using the new main module, but you aren't recommended to do that. When we uh, go to start, we're going to go ahead and, and, and cache that. Okay. So if we have a, a particle system, we'll make main the particle system main module. Okay. Uh, we also need create some custom um, properties that we'll have to manually set up. Okay, so we'll call this max speed and set that to negative one and we will have max acceleration. Okay, and we'll set that to negative one as well. So if, for example, you have the, the Unity uh, the Unity nav mesh agent, you could set a reference to that and say, for example, uh, nav mesh agent, agent, okay, and we cache that value, and then we can just grab the speed from that because agent speed is actually its maximum speed. And for acceleration, uh, the same thing, agent acceleration is the maximum acceleration for that agent. Okay, so if you know you're using the, uh, if you know you're going to use the nav mesh agent, then go ahead and leave these values as they are. Otherwise, remove um, this, and we'll we'll set this up custom in the inspector. Okay, uh, and I default this to an invalid value, and that kind of forces me to initialize it later. All right. Um, now we need two vector threes. We need our position in this frame. We'll call that vector three pose equals new vector three. Copy that and create last pose, pose last. And in update, we will cache last pose as being the position and pose as being transform.position. Right? So this is our position last frame, and this is our position this frame, and this will help us find our velocity. So velocity is the change in position over the time it took to get there. So that'll be float, let's say float velocity is equal to position last frame. We'll put this in parentheses, uh, minus position, okay? And then we will take the magnitude of that um, and put that over time dot delta time. And that's our velocity, okay? Uh, we want to also create a value for our uh, velocity percentage. Okay, so the percentage of our current velocity over our maximum velocity or our maximum speed. And that'll give us uh, kind of a nice effect on our smoke where the amount of effort that your vehicle is putting out uh, is reflected in the amount of smoke that comes out of it. Now, before I get ahead of myself, let's go ahead and uh, put this into the debug.log and check this out in the in the uh, in the scene. All right. So let's say that our velocity. Let's go ahead and log our velocity. So velocity and our 
current percentage of maximum velocity. So if I've set this up wrong, right, if I don't have this max speed set up correctly, then this will tell me uh, right here, or I'll get an indication here, um, and we'll say velocity percent, and put that through. Okay, let's check it out. Back in the scene, we're gonna select our tractor, and we're gonna put our exhaust system onto it. Um, and we will put our particle system on there. I'm not quite sure why I can't see. Oh my goodness, these need to be serialized valuables. Okay, so that's a big problem. Make sure that you put in uh, the serialized field attribute on, in front of these, uh, in front of max speed and max acceleration. And now we have these, uh, properties available to us. So let's go ahead and set the speed as being the same as, as the max speed on the nav mesh agent, which is 3.5, and the max acceleration, which is eight. And press play. And because it's already got that mover script on it, um, we'll see it going around. You can see that the uh, particle system is already working. That's not modified by anything on this script yet. But in the debug log, you can see here that uh, its percentage is, is at maximum uh, while it's just going in a straight line, right? And then as it gets to its next waypoint, it slows down and we can see the velocity go down and the percentage go down. Perfect. Now, we want to modify this, accelerate, this um, exhaust system by acceleration, all right? And we need to have two more floats in order to do that, all right? We need to have a final... Um, velocity and a initial velocity and initial velocity okay so we'll set up velocity final and we've already calculated this this is actually the velocity that we have right now in up <clears throat> in update and then we've also calculated velocity initial because that's <clears throat> velocity from the last frame so we'll go ahead and put uh, final velocity into this value right um, let's put velocity final, okay, and velocity init is velocity from the last frame, which is velocity final. Perfect, okay. Let's go ahead and put that into our values here and set up acceleration. Acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity. Okay, over the time which it took to do that change in velocity. Okay, and we'll put that into our debug log and check it out in the scene. All right, I've put a couple of cubes on our waypoint so that we know where they are. Uh, while it's going between those cubes, the acceleration here will be around zero, all right? And while it, it, when it gets close and starts to slow down, it'll be a negative acceleration that actually exceeds its maximum acceleration. And while it speeds up, its acceleration will obviously be positive. Okay, so exactly what we would expect. I've added another value here, uh, the absolute acceleration percent, and that is the absolute value of acceleration over max acceleration. Uh, and the reason that we put this in absolute value is because when we're decelerating, then acceleration is negative, and obviously when we're accelerating, it's positive. So we'll take any type of acceleration and modify our, our exhaust by uh, that. We'll modify the size of the um, the plume of smoke by by the acceleration percent. All right. So we're going to create a method called uh, show vehicle effort. We'll pass in float velocity mod and our flow uh, acceleration mod. All right, and then we will take, uh, let's say that if acceleration mod is greater than, um, remember this is a percentage, so it has to be less than one and greater than zero. So if it's uh, greater than two, uh, point 0.2, then we are in the acceleration phase. Otherwise we are cruising, okay between um, waypoints. So 
let's say that um, if we're accelerating, then we'll modify our main, um, our particle system's main module. We'll modify the start size of the particles. Now let's say that the particle size is huge, like 150, and um, we'll modify that by the A mod. And then we'll modify the start lifetime, okay? Uh, so that's basically, the lifetime is basically the, the size of the trail uh, that gets left behind by the uh, particles, okay? Uh, how long they exist in the scene, right? So let's um, copy this, and in the cruising phase, we'll do the same thing with the V mod, with the velocity modifier, all right? And we will put this as smaller values, okay? We'll, we'll assume that... Um, when we're at a constant speed, then we're using less energy, so it's generating less exhaust, okay? So let's put like a tenth of it in there. Um, so yeah, let's do 15. To be a good citizen, let's, let's uh, go ahead and put in actual values for these, all right? Um, so let's create another header and we'll put in a uh, particle system properties and we'll put in four more floats all right so if you want to go ahead and skip ahead in the video you can do that I'm going to create four serialized fields uh, private floats and this is going to be acceleration let's say size acceleration phase let's say 151 all right we'll say life acceleration same thing and we'll do the same thing with um, <clears throat> velocity, all right? So change the size velocity. And we'll make that smaller. Now, we'll take these down here and pass those in. <clears throat> size velocity times our velocity modifier so now um, we can modify the size <coughs> excuse me we can modify the size of our, our particles from this script uh, within the uh, inspector in the scene view okay so make sure that you put this um, method into update and pass in velocity percent and the absolute acceleration percent save and then we'll test it so let's press play see some huge smoke while it's accelerating and almost none right almost none when uh, it's moving between waypoints so let's change that the size when accelerating let's just try something like five and then we'll do 15 for the lifetime and while it's in between waypoints let's say there's just one right so that looks pretty good for velocity size and lifetime and then acceleration, I mean, that 15 second lifetime makes it look pretty good, pretty realistic, I guess. That's it for this video. We've created an exhaust system that uses a vehicle's acceleration and velocity in order to modify the amount of particles coming out of it. I used Cinti Studio's uh, farming pack. So you can see these vehicles here, the, they were created by Cinti Studios. Um, they have their own particle effects in, uh, in Cinti Studios pack. So uh, you can see that the, the mist here, the hose, that's all particle effects that came included in, in the farming pack here. Um, I used the nav mesh system in order to move the vehicles around and um, used custom scripts for the uh for the for the camera okay so if you want to get a camera like this for play mode um it's uh, i'll put the link in the description thanks a lot